I think in listening to this record, and I've listened to it probably five or ten times already, that I would say as a fan that you've gotten to a place far more personal than you've gotten in the past. Yeah. A lot of songwriters, that can be cathartic. A lot of them, it can do a lot of damage. Yeah. I wonder, did you get to come out the other side of these songs? Well, you know, like I said before about feeling confident as a band, um, there's, a, there's, there's a new confidence within the band, and personally, as, as a songwriter, you know, there were things that I was afraid to say before, just either out of insecurity or I didn't want to... The last thing in the world I, I'll ever do is dump all of my problems on someone else's table. And so there was that part of me that, that did the same thing lyrically. And uh, as you, as, I guess as you get older or as, you've, as, as you make album after album, you sort of get deeper and closer to that to that core and you realize well isn't that the point i mean you know if i if i go completely inward and write from that perspective that's usually the the kind of stuff that that people connect to you know and so i wrote the, most of the lyrics in a really short period of time back in that isolation booth back there because i'd never really demoed vocals before for any album it was always just these instrumental ideas and then I'd go in and scribble lyrics really quickly before having to do the vocal and uh, <clears throat> this time I wanted to be pre prepared I wanted to know what kind of album we were making so I'd hold up in that room for like 14 hours a day for about 10 days and wrote all of the lyrics in that time and it was really like blank notebook with a pen like okay and I'd listen to the demo <laughs> and I'd just sit there and just think you know and um and I guess maybe in that way, uh, a lot more came out.